Hi, I'm Kevin Savitz, and I am going to show you how to create a Jumpman level using uh, Omnivore. Omnivore is a multi-platform Atari uh, disk editor tool, and there is a uh, Jumpman level editor in it, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm doing this on my Mac, however, Omnivore is multi-platform, works on Mac and Linux and Windows. So it will be slightly different on your system. Also, it's beta software and it's changing, so it'll probably be you know not exactly the same, but this will give you a pretty good idea of how to make a simple Jumpman level. Uh, file new Jumpman level from Omnivore, and it sets you up. Look at that, it sets you up with a basic level. So here is our main editor screen. We're gonna do most of the work. Here's some level data that we can edit. Probably we're not gonna mess with raw level data right now, but it's fun to watch the numbers change. And uh, this is the trigger painting area, which we will get to. So let's make a uh, basic level. It starts you off with one girder and one peanut, uh, also called bombs. We tend to call them peanuts. I'm just, I wanna start totally fresh and we're just gonna start with nothing on the screen. So we're gonna start by going up here and clicking girder and we're gonna place a girder on the screen. Hey, look at that. Isn't that nice? And also I want another girder over here where Jumpman is going to land. We're gonna get over there. Jumpman needs a place to start. So for that, you click the start Jumpman position. Um, because if he started right there, that would be bad. He would die. So let's start him over here. And if he, if he, uh, that's where he starts the level the first time. And also if he dies, where he will restart the level. Next, I'm going to place a ladder. So I'm gonna use the ladder tool, do that. And I want another girder, there we go. So there's girders, there's ladders. Um, this is the uh, up ropes, we'll get to those in a minute. This is the down ropes. So I want a rope to go from there to there. And then you need something to get, so that's going to be a peanut. And I'm gonna put a peanut right there. Now you notice when I chose the peanut uh, uh, tool, I put these grid lines on the screen. These are, so peanuts basically do limitations in how the game is made. The peanuts can only be in the black grid squares, not in the red area, not even a little bit in the red area. So there can only be one peanut per grid square, and there can't be peanuts in the red area of the grid square. And if you can live within those constraints, uh, well, you have to live with those, within, within those constraints. So basically what we have here is um, a very simple level and only one peanut to get. Um, before we go on, I wanna talk about limit other limitations. Because the way Jumpman on the Atari is made, uh, there can only be 12 columns of ladders, ladders in 12 columns, which uh, is usually just plenty, more, more than you need. So over here it says no, number of columns with ladders one, um, you could because I have one ladder and it's in one column. Now if I add another ladder and it's actually exactly lined up, even though there's two ladders, number of columns with ladders is still one. But if I added another one, it'll change to two, and if I add another one, it'll change to three. And if I keep doing it, and when I, when I get to 13, this number changes to red, and the level won't work anymore at that point. Um, undo, undo, undo. Um, so you get, you get 12 columns of ladders. And the, for down ropes, which are, the, you know, which are these guys, right now I have one column with down rope, um, same limitation, you can only have six columns of down ropes. If you add a seventh column, then uh, the editor will probably let you do it, but the game will not work. See how it's red here, seven columns of down ropes. The game is not set up to, to deal with that. You can have as many columns of up ropes as you want. All right, so undo, 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 here we are. Um, let's talk about girders. You have seen me draw several lovely horizontal girders. You can also draw vertical girders, which uh, like that, which Jumpman will climb if he touches. 
they're very unusual in the original Jetman game, but they are there and and uh, they work. You can also draw. Um, uh, what are they called? Girders on an angle like that. So Jumpman will can go up and down girders at this angle, this light little angle. Now it's also possible to draw girders at other angles. The editor can handle it, the display program will display it, but um, Jumpman will die. I mean, he just, he can't handle it. So he, he can like climb up that, but he will die going down it. He will, he can climb up that, he can walk up that, but he dies going down. Typically down is the problem. Um, so there's all these angles you can do that, I mean, you could write your name and stuff. You could, I don't know, experiment with it, but they're trip and fall hazards for Jumpman, unless it's flat or at this low angle. So that's that. Um, I'm going to erase that for now. So I, now I want to talk about trigger events. Trigger warning. <laughs> um, so basically, one, one of the features built into Jumpman is that you, when you take a peanut, something can happen. Um, things can disappear or appear. For instance, you might take a peanut and then a new ladder appears or a part of a rope disappears or a girder or whatever. So that's built into the program and that's easy to do with the level editor. And uh, so in order to do that, uh, so every time you make you put a peanut here, here I'll put in a couple more, uh, put a peanut there and put a peanut there. Now for every peanut, there's a new entry over here in the trigger painting area. So I click this one, you can see, okay, we're talking about this peanut over here. And if I click this one, we're talking about this peanut. And if I click this one, we're talking about this peanut. If I, so I wanna make it so when I take this peanut here, something appears. So, so now that the, the background's grayed out and this one peanut is highlighted, so I know that's the one. When I take that peanut, I want something to appear. And I want that, in this case, for this level to be an up rope. So I'm gonna make a rope go from there to there. So that rope will appear when you take that peanut. Now you can also, have things disappear. So for instance, so uh, so in addition to the girders and the ladders and the ropes and ropes and peanuts up here, we have erase girders, erase ladders, and erase ropes. So when I take that peanut, I could have uh, this part of this ladder disappear. So two things will happen now. It says two painted objects. The ladder will disappear and the rope will appear. Yeah, well, want to try it? Should we see how it works? Great, let's do that. Um, so I have to save this as, I'm gonna call it um, new demo onetr Okay, and then we're gonna go into our Chuckman editor and we're going to go to uh, desktop, um, Chuckman hacks, new demo1.atr. Let's load this up and see the magic. Look at that. Jumpman can walk around. He's gonna go up here. He's gonna take that one. Take that one, go down. Oh, there's a bullet. <laughs> Forgot to turn off bullets. Okay, see, he can climb up this thing, go back down, and then as we take this last peanut, you can see that the part of the ladder disappeared and then the rope appeared. So it's exactly what we wanted to happen. Yay, look at that. Um, so cool. What else can I tell you? Um, you can, so yeah, when you're testing, you can turn off bullets, um, or if you wanna make the game super hard, give it four bullets. Um, Two or three is what the two is what's typically used in a lot of the real Jetman levels. You can change the name of the level here. Give it change the level number, which gives you two characters, number of points per peanut, the starting bonus value, whether you need all the peanuts or you don't have to get quite all of the peanuts. Um, you can set the game colors, which is a lot of fun. Really adds some some uh, 
customization to the level. Um, really kind of makes it a lot of fun. I probably just made a terribly ugly level color. I found that the the colors in the when you actually play it tend to be slightly different from what Omnivore tells you they're going to be. Um, so that's it. I mean, we made a level, right? So we can tip it so let's make it a little bit better now. Um, so I want it to be. So when you take that peanut, uh, another peanut appears. So we're going to put a. I want this peanut to only appear when you've taken the other peanut. So now we have a conditional peanut. So now you have to, you're going to have to use that up rope. So we're making a bit of a puzzle now, right? Um, not a good one, but so yeah. Is that anything else? Let's see. I'll go back to main level here. If I've shown you everything, um, <laughs> I think so. We don't. Yeah, you know, we have an up rope, down rope everything. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's do it one more time. Uh, new demo 2.atr. I'll give it one last shot and then we'll call this video done, okay? Desktop, hex, fresh use, new demo 2. Yeah, I chose terrible colors and it's dark and weird, but get the idea. Uh, there's also, it's possible within Jumpman to uh, have custom code, like, you know, robots and bats and things. Um, that requires, that, well, it's beyond the scope of this video, so I'm not going to talk about that. See, the ladder uh, disappeared, the uh, rope appeared, and the new peanut appeared. Look at that! We did it! Yay! So that's how you make a level uh, with Omnivore's Jumpman Level Editor. Have fun making levels and uh, show us uh, what you do. Alright? Thanks. Bye.